What is up, Andy here from MSA, and today we're gonna to do a video on how to survive through load shedding. Um, so South Africa has intermittent power outages of about two and a half hours at a time, and it can very much affect our, our work lives and whatnot. So we specifically did a video on how to get your cannabis grow through load shedding, but then we realized that there was so little information, like good information on um, on how to set it up and what type of inverters and the calculations and all of that so we thought we'd do one that's like a general purpose video for everyone. So um, these are the formulas. It's a little bit mathy but we'll go through everything step by step. So we've got time and amp hours are the two things that we're going to need to figure out um, and what's and all of that so I'll go over it. So Keep these in mind, I'll probably put it in the corner. The first thing you need to do is figure out how many how many watts that you need to draw. So I've done a, in the previous video, we did basically um, just a, a small little light, um, sort of like this, which used about 4.1 watts, but now more realistically, um, I'm gonna do a calculation with like a computer, probably looking at like 125 watts uh, is sort of like the average. First thing you need to do is you need to get a good combo set. Um, Inverter and a battery, it's two parts, and uh, a battery charger. So in this case, this inverter here, it's a Mesa inverter. It's uh, geared for thousand uh, for seven hundred and twenty watts. Um, so don't exceed that limit. And it's got a built-in charger and a built-in switch, which means it automatically switches over when the power goes off and powers up whatever device is connected to it without uh, interruption or like twenty millisecond switch time. So some items won't get affected, but others will. So first, you're gonna work out what uh, amp hour battery you need to run your stuff. So we're working on an example of 150 watts, remember that. Sorry, tripod. Um, okay, so we're gonna use this bottom formula. Amp hour times time, let me write down. Amp hour is equal to time, which is gonna be 2.5 hours times the watts, which is uh, 150, over 12 volt, it's a 12 volt battery, times the efficiency, and like a lot of people say the efficiency is like 0.8, um, to be safe, uh, let's use 0.5. Um, so that's basically, you don't want to run your battery all the way to zero percent every time and then try recharge it does like the big batteries don't work like this like keeping your cell phone above 60 percent is like generally you know a good thing if you keep bring it all the way down to naught it's not going to last as long so let's use 0.5 as like an extreme case so that's where we're at now 2.5 times 150 divided by 12 times 0.5 which is 6 so that means you need 62.5 uh, amp hours. This battery is 105 and so it should theoretically last uh, two full load shedding periods, roughly. If you have a battery and you want to figure out and you want to work out how long it's going to last, so you already have the battery, uh, we can use this top formula uh, over here, time, amp hours. So let's use the lamp. Uh, for example, which is 4.1 watts. So we have uh, time equals amp hours, which is 105, which is the battery, times 12 volts, times the efficiency, which is 0.5, and all of that divided by 4.1 watts for the lamp. That's 105 times 12, times 0.5, divided by 4.1, which is 153 hours, which is pretty spot on in my opinion. That's like three, four days um, it'll last. Obviously the inverter uses a bit of power, but that's just sort of where you can gauge. So yeah, that's basically the calculations. Um, not an electrician and uh, I'm probably not qualified to be teaching this stuff but uh, I did learn from trial and error and yeah this sort of worked for me and then um, yeah if you have any questions I'll, we'll try our best to answer them below and hopefully see you around.